welcome back to our channel that is ai next generation so today this is the second number video that's related to the deep learning so in the previous video already we have just learned what are deep learning and the introduction of the deep learning even we have not gone so much depth in that particular first video so in next video in next video we will just learn every topics that's related to the deep learning so we will cover every first we will just cover the all the theoretical part before starting the coding okay so today the topic is will be the related to the layers in the artificial neural network means how many layers are there in the ann okay so you can just say an is basically the layers in the deep learning so whenever you are just starting to write the coding part so in that particular coding you have to define the input layer the hidden layer and the output layer so in this video i will just go through every layers that is input layer what the working of the input layer and what you will fit to the input layer and the second one is the hidden layer in the hidden layer what is happening that is hidden to us and the third is like output layer okay so this is the three layers always you will have only the three layer in the deep learning or ann okay so what is input layer so you already know that it's depend upon input layer basically how many neurons you want to put in the input layer okay so whenever you have suppose you uh, you have uh, if you have any data set that's related to you have 15 features or 16 features okay then 16 total number of neuron will be there in the input layer okay so and whenever you are talking about the images and videos in that particular if your dimension of your image is like 50 cross 50 that's it suppose 50 cross 50 and the color uh, and the image is colorful image then it, it will have three channels uh, but whenever you have black and white image or whenever you that particular will have only the one channel okay so now input image is 50 cross 50 cross 3 so whenever you are just multiplying this is the a dimension of image so 50 cross 50 cross 50 to uh, then after you are just multiplying and that number of neuron will be there in the input layer okay so you can just multiply 50 cross 50 is 2500 into 3 7500 okay so 7500 neurons will be there in the input layer okay so this is how the input layer is defining so you know that you whenever you will just do the coding part you have to define and at that time you should be cons you have to be more practical or you have to more focus on that part that that particular dimension you are just feeding to the model okay so otherwise it will give you an error okay so this is the input layer you are just feeding the uh, dimension of image or what's and if you are related to the data you are just feeding the data it's depend on how many columns you have that is the x whenever you're doing the machine learning you're defining the x train and y train so basically x train will be basically the input how many uh, number of neurons will depend upon how many columns you have or how many features you have okay so this is what input layer so now and then after i will explain you what the output layer then after we will move to the hidden layer so output layer is basically what you it's depend upon how many it it will also consist of the neurons okay so neurons you, you already know that neurons is you already if you study the biology part uh, that neurons basically uh, just passes the signal which particular neurons will active or not active that's depend upon the human brains okay that already we have talked in the previous uh, uh, video okay so in this uh, particular in output layer it depends upon how many number of class we have okay suppose if you want to classify between a cat and dog then you will have two neuron okay so one neuron will be for the cat another neuron will be for the dog then among the two neuron which one will be fire the what will be the output if the particular image you are just feeding that is of images so that particular in output layer only the images neuron will be fire, uh, fire that is cat neuron will be fire and if you are feeding the dog image then particular dog image dog particular neuron will be fire okay so we will go through in the again in the coding part don't worry about now so you know about the hidden layer in in you know about the input layer okay so you know about input layer means the number of features is belong to or whenever you are dealing with the images the number of dimension you have to fit in the input layer and the second one is the output layer is depend upon number of neurons you are fitting okay 
सो दिस इज वॉट इनपुट लेयर आउटपुट लेयर यू आर कंट्रोलिंग दैट वन एंड हिडन लेयर यू आर नॉट कंट्रोलिंग इट्स हिडन फ्रॉम अस यू आर जस्ट स्पेसिफाइंग द नंबर ऑफ न्यूरोन्स यू वॉन्ट टू गिव और नंबर ऑफ हिडन लेयर यू वॉन्ट टू यूज यू शुड बी कीप इन माइंड दैट यू कैन यूज एन नंबर ऑफ हिडन लेयर नाउ इट्स हेयर ओनली वी आर जस्ट focusing only for the theoretical part okay so you should aware of what are hidden layer okay so here why we are using hidden layer when we have input layer and when we have output layer so during the machine learning algorithm you have you whenever you are just constructing any uh, algorithm they will just get an input some equation will be come and then after that will be the output but this is not case in the deep learning you want to make your model too much complex that you want to make model too much generalized model okay too much complex model means whenever you are making too much complex model means you are just whenever you are feeding the data set you are saying the data set to learn each and every part different type of pattern can be described in the hidden layer so you are just increasing increasing the complex of the model so why we are increasing our complex means whenever you have 1 lakhs of 2 lakhs millions of data set at that time what you will do so you can't directly use y equal to mx plus c or input layer or output layer you are not making too much complex model so that's why hidden layer role of the hidden layer is to make the model too much complex okay so that it can make it can make different different type of pattern with that particular input layer okay like input number of neurons they will just find uh, some uh, traditional what they were just finding uh, it's be, it's depend upon they are hidden from us what i'm just saying the neurons how they are just connecting they are hidden from us you are just defining only number of neurons okay so this is how only the hidden layer part is you are just increasing the complexity of the model that is the part of the hidden layer and you can use n number of hidden layer but uh, again we will see when you have to use small hidden layer when you have to use large hidden layer how many neurons will be there in hidden layer every question you will just uh, whenever you will be in the this series you will get this answer so whenever you will do the coding part just here you just understand what the meaning of input layer hidden layer and output layer because whenever you will do the practical part so in that even there are 50 layer 50 layer of hidden layers even they have uh, some resnet they have used 150 layer of the hidden layer so you can imagine that type of big model you are just doing okay so at that time you will have 100 millions of images they all are just practicing that google or facebook they are just uh, developing uh, means they are just training their model okay the training their data set in this particular model so just you have to understand what are input layer what are hidden layer and output layer i think it is clear input layer basically what it whenever you are feeding any data set that particular belongs to how many features you have the number of neurons will be have in the input layer or images the number dimension dimension of that particular image and the output layer you know very well now how many class you have that number of neuron will be there in the output layer and the hidden layer is basically you are how many hidden layer you have to it's depend upon you what you are defining but they are hidden from us you are not controlling the hidden layer okay so every mathematic pass computational pass it is happening in the hidden layer so this was the overall theory of the input layer hidden layer and output layer okay so again i will just give you the one uh, few things that whenever uh, this is how what i have explained you in the theory i will just share this slide also very soon if even i have just uploaded this thing in the website i will just give the link here in description file so what art is on input layer it written each and everything what i have explained you what how many input layers will be how many neurons will be there in the input layer okay so how many which one is there and i think you are much clear with the input layer and you are much clear with the hidden layer also you are uh, and the thing is that second thing is the activation function that i don't want to discuss discuss now so just you have uh, this video is only part of to understand what are input layer what are hidden layer and what are output layer that's it we will go on slowly and you should understand each and everything very clearly okay so if you have any doubt you can just mention in the in the comment i will get back to you soon okay so just you understand this three concept then after we will move to the activation function one video separate will be the whole about the activation function and how many type of what the function of activation function is used and where we are using the activation function okay and what computation of power it is there in the hidden layer in hidden layer what we are just doing we are just and again i will explain you the things that what are this line this line are the synapses we it call in the deep learning basically it holds the 
weights okay so uh, this also this is the also major concept we will discuss in the activation function but i will give you in a brief so every neuron is connected to the every particular hidden layer okay so this particular yellow is connected to this every four this particular this particular second yellow or second uh, number of neurons in the input layer is connected to this all four and then similar is all four so every what they contains the every line contains the weights weight basically means how many means you can just say which particular feature is the most important feature okay so whenever you are just predicting the price of a house suppose you have only on the basic of three three neuron so which one will be the most criteria is depend upon the area okay so area means the larger the area the more the price will be that that you can just consider this is the area neurons okay this neurons holds the area this neurons holds the uh, number of bedrooms and this area holds the uh, what situ whether it is uh, that uh, that particular house it, it, it is in the urban area or the rural area okay so on the on the basic of this theory neuron which one will be the most important they will just get back during the training time they will learn during the training time during the back progression they will update the weight so there are many topics so you will don't be confused now i'm just giving you the overview you will learn so many things in this uh, and coming video okay so the main focus was today to understand in this video what input layer what are input layer what are hidden layer and what are output layer that's it if you understand this one so in the next video we will just soon we will how hidden layer how computational power or the competition is happening in the hidden layer how we are just multiplying okay how we are just adding the bias and this all term we will explain in the next video even in the activation function okay so this is uh, the, that's it for the this video i hope you understand about input layer output layer and the hidden layer okay yeah that's all for this video even uh, yeah in next video we'll uh, get back to you soon but i was i have said that we will go to that particular topic okay yeah that's all for this this video thank you